can look at a similar graph. Or we, we, so we could ask a question, you know, what is aging? What is it that's causing that increase in risk of death? And I think when most people think of aging, they probably think of the sort of obvious external cosmetic signs. It's the things like uh, the wrinkles and the frailty, the things that, you know, we can see externally when all of us age. But if you were to talk to a doctor, the thing they'd mention wouldn't be so much these, uh, these cosmetic things, but the risk of specific diseases, things like cancer, heart disease, stroke and dementia. And these diseases are what we know as age related diseases. Um, and that means, you know, you can increase your risk of cancer or heart disease by smoking or eating a bad diet or not getting enough exercise. But the single biggest risk factor, the single biggest um, thing to increase your risk of getting one of these diseases is simply being old. It's how long ago you were born. And so these diseases are essentially caused by the aging process. Then there's a bunch of other things that we wouldn't necessarily always call diseases. Some of these will you know, get a diagnosis medically from a doctor, but others are just, you know, if they're not quite severe enough, wouldn't merit that diagnosis. And I group these together as all various different kinds of loss, you know, loss of hearing, loss of sight, loss of muscle strength, all of these different things um, that, that conspire to decrease our independence as we get older. And I think that's the most important idea, actually. All of these things together are a loss of independence, a loss of the ability to do what you want, to play with your grandkids, to engage in your hobbies, to travel, whatever it is that gives your life meaning. You know, those things are slowly sapped away from us as we age. And then finally, there's the stuff that isn't strictly age related. Um, things like infections and injuries, you know, a young person can still, you know, get, get the flu or get COVID or break a bone, but it'll be much less severe when that happens. And that can be made much, much more serious by the fact that you're older and your body is less resilient. So this sort of collection of things is what we mean by aging.